This is the hard drive mounting and acquisition tutorial. Today we will be using Kane, a live Linux CD to, to image a hard drive. Assuming you already have made an image of Kane, you must place the live Linux boot CD of Kane into your CD-ROM or DVD drive. Power on the machine and make sure that the CD-ROM or DVD is the first in the boot configuration. You can change this by booting into BIOS. The next thing you will see come up is the boot menu. Here you can choose between different options. There is the live boot from the CD-ROM, the boot live and safe graphics mode, start the installation directly, boot live and text only mode, boot to the live system. If a video problem occurs, boot from a live without splash, run a memory test, and boot from the first hard drive in the boot configuration. We will be using the boot live system, which will boot in to Keen. Next we will use disk monitor. It can be located on the taskbar. This program is the right blocker software and will allow us to mount the source drive in read only mode. Next, we will use a program called safe mount to mount this destination drive in writable mode. And this is where the image will be stored for further investigation. The safe mount indication box should come up, which it has now, telling me that the image mounted is now in writable mode. It can be re read or written too. Now we, now we will open the destination drive, or my passport, and create a new folder named images. This is where the acquired images will be stored. So now that we have our destination folder created, we can exit out of it, open up the start menu, go to forensics tools, and get Guy, Guy Magger. This program is, is an imager and will acquire an image from a source drive and by right clicking on acquired image you'll see this window will appear. It will give you an option of three file formats. The Linux the data duplication format, expert witness format, and advanced forensics image format. Next I will give the acquired image a case number. I will call this case number fire, fireball case number one. Evidence number, I'll just call it one. Examiner, I will use my ID. Description, I will call this uh, UPB lab image. Those that it came from a lab image machine. Notes, I will keep the same as the default. I will select the image directory where the image will be stored. The folder we created on the passport will be our destination drive. I will make a new folder and name it Fireball Case 1. Not to be confused with any other image that I might copy to this destination drive. Next I will have to give the image a file name. I will call it Fireball Image 1. I also decided to go with the expert witness format, I forgot to mention that. And the split size option for easy migration and compression. And use the hashing MD5 calculation for verification. But I'm not going to use the verification because it takes a long time for it to verify. Next we hit OK to execute the acquisition of the hard drive and we see that it's actually running now. I'd run down through the options and it says state acquisition running size is 20 gigs. Hidden areas are unknown of course. Um, no bad sectors and the progress bar is at 1%. This takes a long time to complete. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished.
Okay, as you can see, it took Guy Magger 43 minutes to actually image the hard drive, which is a very long time if you have a bigger hard drive, 500 gigabytes or even a terabyte, bigger than the 20 gig we imaged. Now I will open up my passport and actually see if the image completed. It'll take some time for it to load. And I can see that the image actually was sent to where I needed it to be sent on the destination drive. As you can see, the image is split into 10 2 gig files. And I will display the information file for you. And this will tell you that Guy Magger actually created this image, It'll give you the time, date, and the timestamp it was created. Of course, here are some other forensics related tools that come with Kane that are included with the system. Uh, Kane's interface makes it easy to compile a report of the image and of the acquisition and of the actual analysis of the forensics part of it. Uh, Autopsy is the FTK toolkit for Linux. It is a GUI for the Sleuth kit which is a bash command line program running in terminal. Uh, foremost is a file recovery using the header and footer of the file to recover data that has been lost in the file and of course the mounter and safe mounter mentioned in the tutorial thank you for turning into this podcasting I hope this was very informative to the people who are starting with Kane uh, if there is any questions or suggestions you wish to add please add it to the comment box below uh, and as always Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more videos.